So what do the patients of the new coronavirus or COVID-19 have in common? Well, in today's Taiwan Explained, we're going to be talking about a new study coming to us from China. Now, I should mention, Nally, this study has not been peer-reviewed. However, the team that conducted this research is headed by Dr. Zhongnan Shen. And you'll remember that he is the guy who discovered the SARS coronavirus of 2003, right? Okay, so he has some experience there. Yes, a lot of experience. All righty. So let's uh, give you 60 seconds for this. All right. Ready? Go. Yep. Now, this new research looked at more than 1,000 patients clinically diagnosed. Uh, now, they were at 552 hospitals in 31 provinces and cities. Most of the patients in the study were male with a median age of 47. They crunched the numbers and this is what they found. More than 75% lived in Wuhan or had contact with someone from Wuhan. Only about 1% had direct contact with wildlife. Now, as for the symptoms, the most common was a fever. Nearly 90% had one, but notably less than half had a fever before hospitalization. Another common symptom was coughing. Now, let's talk about the more serious cases. 15% had severe pneumonia. 5% were admitted to the ICU, and about 1.4% of the people in the study succumbed to the virus. That's low, uh, lower than the previous uh, estimates of the fatality rate. And finally, perhaps most interesting, the incubation period was a, a, about a median of three days, which is also less than originally thought. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Very Just good in job. Just a good time. Right. So I'm curious about this incubation period. Tell us more about that, what exactly that means. Okay, so incubation period, this is very interesting. This is uh, the time after you come in contact with the source of transmission and then before the point at which uh, we have the onset of symptoms. So basically what they're saying is, is it's a median of three days. Originally it was thought to be more like five days. And why this is so important is because you could actually have uh, COVID-19, the new coronavirus, and not know it, but also be able to infect other people. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. That's happened a lot. Um, also, people are talking about or wondering when this is going to end. What have you heard, Andrew? Well, this is the million dollar question, right? Everybody wants to know when is this going to be over? Uh, and there's no set answer, except that we don't really know. Now, Dr. Zhong Nanshan, who's the epidemiologist in China who uh, did that research that I just talked about, he has said that he thinks or he hopes it will be over by sometime in April. However, he's already gone back on his previous uh, prediction. So mm -hmm. I don't think he knows either. Um, so I think it's important to kind of take all of these predictions with a grain of salt. Also, he is the face of epidemiology in China. And the officials in China, of course, want to put a positive spin on what's happening with the virus. Now, I do want to point you to another person who has talked a little bit about what the future could hold for the coronavirus here in Taiwan. And that is Chen Jianren, who is the vice president. Now, he recently posted on Facebook saying that, you know, this may not end the way SARS did. It actually may become seasonal, seasonal sort mm. of like come back every season the way H1N1 does. And he actually gave three interesting reasons for why this could be the case. First of all, because it's highly contagious. It has a relatively low uh, fatality rate. And also, it's flu-like. So, you know, of course, the flu comes back every season. Thanks very much, Andrew. And that is our Taiwan Explained for the week.